there is an asana, a yogic posture, which is called as sashtang. The significance of this posture is that you touch eight points of your body to the ground and hold it there. In this posture, the lung, particularly the lung, functions in a certain way, the various aspects to it, but we are talking about enhancing oxygen levels in the system. The entire pulmonary system functions in a unique way in this asana. This is one of the most common asanas, which has gotten distorted in many ways in common use, where almost every devotee is supposed to go into this posture, but due to lack of instruction and understanding, people are just lying down on the ground. Here is a proper demonstration of sashtang, or touching eight points of your body to the ground, holding it that way and breathing slightly deeper than normal. Here, the forehead, chest, two hands, two knees and the big toes are on the floor, heels together, holding it this way. The breath will naturally become in a slightly exaggerated way. Hold it that way, if possible, six to seven minutes. Otherwise, start with three minutes. After you have done this for six to seven minutes, relax your body so that the entire body touches the floor and get into what is called as makarasan. If you are a male person, keep right hand on top of the left hand. If you are a woman, keep left hand on top of the right hand. Put your forehead on top of it and just let your body relax for three to four minutes. And then move your right leg in such a way that it is the thigh is at right angles to the body and below the knee is also at right angles to the thigh part of your leg and turn your head to the right, eyes closed, normal breathing and relax into this posture for three to four minutes and do the same on the other side, turn your head to the left side, get your left leg into that posture where it is almost like you're sitting on a chair. That is, your thigh is at right angles to the rest of the body and below the knee, the shin and the calf muscle is also at right angles to the thigh and your head is looking towards the left, placed upon your palms and relax into this posture for three to four minutes and once again, go into sashtang for six to seven minutes. You can do a cycle like this three times at a time and you can do it four to five times in a day, especially because most of you are wearing masks right now. The danger of decreased oxygen levels, even without infections, can happen because of this. If you do this four to five times in a day, this regimen, your oxygen levels will definitely be up and follow this with Simha Kriya so that your immune system will function much better. There is substantial medical evidence today to show that it actually works like this. Many universities have invested their research into this, so don't go on debating this, just put this into action. It is not an absolute cure or a preventive, but we must understand our health is not an absolute either. Our health is a consequence of many incremental steps that we take. Please take this step at these pandemic times and ensure to whatever extent possible that you do not become a victim, nor do you become a spreader. Namaskaram and thank you. Simha Kriya Ancient yogic techniques are known to have many benefits for the body, mind and energies. Sadhguru offers Simha Kriya, a simple but powerful yogic practice to boost the immunity and enhance our lung capacity. Sadhguru will be giving the instructions. It is important that you receive these instructions properly. Please dedicate the next 10 minutes exclusively for this process. Please do not attempt the practice while watching the video. 
First, listen to the complete instructions and then attempt the practice on your own. So this is a simple practice for those of you who do not know any other powerful process. One thing is, it will enhance your lung capacity, another thing is, it will enhance your immunity. And above all, if you can do it today, if you can do it for next five days, and suddenly one day you're not able to do it, this means definitely you got some respiratory problem. It doesn't matter what it is, you must have yourself checked if you suddenly find you're not able to do it. What it involves is that you have to fully stretch your tongue out with your mouth fully open and then breathe as powerfully as possible without jerking the abdomen, but powerful pushing in and pushing out both inhalation, exhalation twenty-one times. And when it is done, you roll up your tongue upward, push it as further back as you can. You don't have to use your hands, it's not a good time to use your hands. <laughs> so roll up your tongue fully as much as you can by itself, like... And still with your mouth open, again breathe the same way. Inhalation, exhalation as powerfully as possible, but you must get the sound by making a constriction in your throat like this. The sound must be there, it's important that you make... form a constriction at the throat, at the pit of your throat and make the sound and inhalation, exhalation, fully exhaling, fully inhaling as powerfully as you can, but without jerking the abdomen, another twenty-one times with the tongue rolled up. Throughout the whole process, you have your eyes closed, you inhale fully, you inhale fully and simply sit there with the fullness of breath for one minute. If you are beyond a certain age or your breathing is not that good, at least thirty seconds. If you are not able to do one minute, a minimum of thirty seconds you stay there. When the day you are not able to do it, you must understand that there is some problem with your respiratory system and you must go for a checkup. Right now, I want you to just observe, don't do it, just observe and uh, I will tell you how to go about the process. So what's being done is uh, one has to sit in a cross-legged posture, whichever way you can, whatever your body permits, and then use both the arms to push it up in such a way that your rib cage lifts off the diaphragm region, fully pushed up. 
and now extend your tongue fully out. Like this twenty-one times, when it's done, then close your mouth, that also twenty-one times, then close your mouth. You exhale with your mouth closed, making the sound at the pit of your throat by creating a constriction. And then if you wish to sit quietly for some time with your eyes closed, do that, and then you can do whatever you're doing. This is a simple practice that anybody could do. You ensure your stomach is not too full, you must be somewhat hungry. Even if you're not totally empty stomach, at least you must be somewhat hungry kind of situation. So, uh, this is a simple practice particularly those of you who are exposed either because you are medical personnel or you're police or you're in some other service where you're exposed to infected people, please make sure you do this, this will make a lot of difference for you. Conditions for the practice. You should be somewhat hungry. Ideally, give at least two and a half hours space between your last meal and the practice. Anyone between the age of 6 to 70 years can do the practice, regardless of their physiological and medical conditions. Those below 6 years of age and those above 70 years of age can also do the practice, but they must do the breathing 12 times only, not 21 times. People with a brain hemorrhage or a brain tumour can do the practice, but they must do the breathing 12 times only, not 21 times. You can practice Simha Kriya up to three times daily, ensuring you leave a minimum of four hours gap between two consecutive practices. Please do the practice exactly as instructed. Do not make any changes or modifications to it, such as increasing the count. Sit in a cross-leg posture. Place your palms facing downward upon your thighs, close to the knees. Use both your arms to push your body upward in such a way that your rib cage lifts off the diaphragm region. Close your eyes. Open your mouth wide and extend your tongue out fully. Breathe in and out powerfully, moving the abdomen muscles, but without jerking the abdomen. 用力的吸气和呼气, 让腹部肌肉动起来。但不要让腹部有突然的抽动. With full inhalations and exhalations, making the sound from the pit of your throat. 完全的吸满和呼进, 并从你的喉咙根部发出这个声音. Do this twenty-one times. 这样做二十一次. If you happen to be over sixty years of age, do it twelve times only. 如果你超过七十岁, 就只是做十二次.
Roll your tongue upwards, push it as far back as you can towards the uvula. 把你的舌头向上卷起，尽量向后靠近小舌。With an open mouth, breathe the same way: inhalation and exhalation, as powerfully as possible, making the sound from the pit of your throat. 张大嘴巴。以同样的方式进行呼吸，也就是尽量用力的一吸一呼，并从喉咙根部发出那个声音。Do this twenty-one times or twelve times if you happen to be over sixty years of age. 这样做二十一次，或者如果你超过七十岁，就只是做十二次。Close your mouth, inhale fully, and hold your breath. 闭上嘴巴，完全的吸满气，然后屏住。Simply sit there, holding your breath with the fullness of breath for one minute or a minimum of thirty seconds. 就只是坐在那里，在吸满的状态下屏气一分钟，或至少三十秒。Hold your breath as long as it's comfortable for you. 你能舒适的屏住多久就屏住多久。When you feel like exhalation, exhale through the nostrils with your mouth closed, making the sound at the pit of your throat. 当你想要呼气时，保持嘴巴闭着，从鼻孔呼气，同时从喉咙根部发出那个声音。You can sit there quietly for some time and open your eyes when you feel like it. 你可以安静地坐在这里一会儿。当你想要睁眼时，就睁开眼睛。Mm-hmm.